Jerry, thank you so much for joining us today for this experience. Uh, you know, in talking to you, you have always been very diligent about your screenings and exams. So how much of a shock was it for you to find out you had breast cancer? Well, uh, having a mother who had breast cancer, I think I kind of was looking for it, but it was still uh, pretty shocking when I heard the news. And when you were diagnosed, what was going through your mind? Uh, initially, I thought, I'm not going to do anything, but I think that was part of my denial. I didn't want to face it. Well, and you said that, you, and talk a little bit about your decision initially to not do any treatment. Well, initially they told me that it was a non-invasive cancer and it may or may not become invasive, and I thought, well, then I'm going to leave it alone and just not do anything. Um, I did go and meet with a group of ladies called Bosom Buddies, which has been wonderful. They're a support group, and they do a lot of things for women with cancer. And they helped me to realize that this is really something that I needed to do because I need to take care of myself and my own health. Absolutely, every day. And you talk about you know going from where you weren't going to get any treatment to really having that support group and, and then deciding to jump in and get those treatments. What type of treatment did you have to endure? Uh, well, I had a lumpectomy, so they removed the cancerous um, spot from my breast, and then I was given six weeks of radiation therapy. And it was a pretty tough radiation, it, radiation regimen. Yeah, it was uh, every day. Um, five days a week for six weeks and um, you, you know it has it, it does burn your skin but they you do have cream and um, you know I, like I said I didn't want to go through it but it was over before I realized it so I'm glad I did it <laughs> well it was quick and you were diagnosed in April of this year yes April so uh, by August you were finished with treatment and how is your prognosis um, looking good I they don't see any problems uh, yeah. they did remove the lump and, and one lymph node and everything looks clear and um, you know I have a positive outlook and um, I'm just doing things like we did today um, to celebrate life Absolutely, that's what, and that's what we're doing today and, and really for this entire series is seizing the day um, because that's so important for all of us, not, not just uh, those that are diagnosed with cancer, but for everyone to live life uh, to its fullest.